Mountains Mid Coast Euchres, Jeff Weinberger coming at you here with a new tutorial. Today I'd like to talk about Tennessee Waltz. It's a great song and we have played it in the past. And I got a special request from a member to go over this song. We're doing it in F today and I do believe we perform it mostly in F. It's an easy key for a lot of people to sing. So let's get right into the chords here. We have an F chord. We have a C7 chord. And then back to F. And then F for another measure. So that gives us the intro. F to C7, F and F repeated. We're in 3-4 time. The name Tennessee Waltz kind of tells us that. But waltz time, 3-4 time. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Easy enough to play a waltz. Uh, just make sure you accent that first beat. Make sure that the one of every measure is a little bit louder and a little bit more emphasized to give it more of a danceability. It uh, really brings out the waltz feel when you do that. One, two, three, one, even exaggerated a little bit like that so that it um, really has some kind of uh, rhythm to it, not just kind of monotonous. And it's going to basically stay in that pocket of F and C7. Another chord we're going to need though is F major seven. So let's talk about that. Um, F major 7 can be a difficult chord. There is a fingering like this. Some of you might have seen. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a 2, 4, 1, 3. That's a rarely used one, though. That actually um, is what you see in a lot of uh, chord books and chord posters and that sort of thing. But we have this alternative, and everyone should know this easier alternative. It sounds just as nice. It's 5, 5, 0, 0. Perfectly good chord. Really beautiful. So it's not that different from that, but so much easier to play. So use that F major 7 and uh, save yourself a lot of hassle. There's actually another one for those of you that are fans of up the neck chords. You could play a bar across your uh, fifth fret, so it's 5, 5, 5, and then 7. It's kind of a jazzier one. sort of sound you can use that F major 7 but let's go with our 5500 five, zero, zero for our purposes today and that's the one you heard me playing at the, the beginning all right and then what we're going to be getting into is an F7 and I think all of you know that but just in case you take a regular F chord and you add your third finger to it so it ends up being 2310 B flat bar chord everyone needs to eventually come to terms with B flat 3211 we have a D7, two ways to do D7. You can do the way I initially did, which was two, 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 three, and that's a bar chord. But I also later uh, did it as two, zero, two, zero. So two different ways to do it. Whichever works for you. They're both uh, nearly interchangeable. Let's see, besides D7, we're definitely gonna need G7. We're gonna need C7. Later on in the bridge, we're actually going to have to pull out an A7 chord, too. So there you go. All right, as far as strumming goes, uh, one of the main strums that I like to use is down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. That gives a nice waltz feel. You could do down, 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 up. okay I kind of prefer down down up down myself but down 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 up would work you could even do down down up down up like this so mixing um, those three strums together is, is a good strategy you could use um, one particular strum for the first you could use a different strum for the bridge and you could maybe, during the next time around the song, mix it up and throw in a third uh, variation. But I don't really think about it, to be honest, when I play. I um, do what feels right. And so I might use all three of those drums, just not in a premeditated way. Um, and then let's talk about the bridge. So that goes, I remember the night and the Tennessee. G7, C7. 
that brings us back to the chords for a verse. Um, the verse, the first time around, it has a particular ending. It has a first ending that consists of F, D7, G7, C7. But then the second time around, it has a second ending, which consists of the chords F, C7, back to F, and then F again, just like our intro. So this time when uh, we did the bridge and we returned to the verse, we're going to be using the second ending to uh, get ourselves out of that uh, time around the song and then circle back to do the beginning of the song again uh, with different lyrics. So let's do that whole bridge together. It goes, I remember with the first ending, uh, second ending, excuse me. So pretty easy as far as chords go. You might have to brush up on your B flat. You might have to brush up on that F major seven. But other than that, I think it's probably a piece of cake. Easy one finger and two finger chords that just about anybody can handle. Just a bar chord here and a bar chord there. But uh, we're all grown ups. We can handle our bar chords. It's no problem. So Tennessee Waltz, great old song. If you want, um, you can mix the strum up even more. You can kind of throw in some picking, as you noticed I did in the intro. I like to maybe do a little strum, and then a little pick. Strum, then pick, strum, pick, strum. That's another way to approach 3-4 time, especially a ballad like this, a softer 3-4 song. Unlike uh, Good Night Irene or Oh My Darling Clementine or something like that where it's a strong, kind of rowdy almost 3-4 time. This is a gentler sort of 3-4 time. Uh, one last word about this song. If you want to hear a really different version of it, check out Nora Jones and Bonnie Raitt performing this song. They slow it way, way down. They make the chords change a lot less frequently than we have in our normal version. This um, version of theirs goes... So the chords last twice as long as they did in the original version of the song. So that's something I uh, will probably link to down below so that you can hear Nora Jones and Bonnie Raitt playing this song at a very slow pace, but a really beautiful rendition. Okay, Mid-Coast Euchres, hope you enjoyed this quick trip into um, Tennessee Waltz. And let me know if there's any questions. You can always email me. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if uh, none of this made sense, or if some of it made sense, or if all of it made sense. Just let me know if you need help. All right, Mid-Coast Eucharist, you take care. Bye-bye.